Hello everybody, welcome to Postural Fitness. Uh, my name is Claudia, I'm bringing you this class from the Tucson Racquet Club, the leader in postural fitness classes worldwide, from what I understand. So we're gonna do a little bit of standing work. Uh, we're gonna start with some shoulders, uh, so some shoulder rolls. So make sure your shoulders are away from your ears, your elbows, your arms are straight, and we're gonna do 10 forward. All right. I'm hearing a lot of crackling and that's perfectly fine. That's your bones are trying to get realigned in your spinal cord, getting out the kinks. Okay. All right, so now we are going to do some, and then you can stand back against the wall. We're gonna do some elbow curls. We're gonna be working the upper back. So we're gonna do 25 of these. So one, bring it all the way back. Two, you don't need a wall for any of these, but if you have one, it kinda, it, it's a plumb line to keep you in, keep you honest and lined up. You always wanna be in the right position. Your feet should be completely straight ahead, about six inches apart. Your elbows come together if you can. The important thing is form. Form is much more important than anything else. We have five more. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, shake it out. Now we are going to be doing standing windmill. Uh, if you have a wall, great. Again, if, you're, if this bothers you to have your arms out, you can put your arms on your shoulders. You can even put them on the waist. The main thing to focus on is not flailing arms or moving your your pelvis nothing moves but your waist do five in this position body up nice and straight all right now you're going to move your feet about a foot and a half apart make sure they're pointing straight ahead Five more. And five. As far apart as you can go, make sure your feet are pointing straight ahead. That's the most important. Bend at the waist. Nothing else moves. That's why the wall helps, because you can tell if, you're, if you've moved. Your butt should be glued against that wall. All right, final set, back to the six inches, five, six inches apart, five more. Shake it out. We're going to be doing some arm circles. So if you are against the wall, step away. Um, have your thumbs pointed straight out. Your hand in golfer's grip. That's into the palm. Shoulder blades together. Forty. Feet straight ahead. 40. Now rotate back, thumbs pointing back. 40 more. One, two, three. Don't bend back. Keep your body straight up and down. A lot of people tend to go back. 
This exercise is on every single PD Goski menu. It's good for just about every postural condition. Okay. So now I'm going to give you a little break from your arms and we're going to be doing air bench. So start position. This you do need a wall, no shoe, no socks, either bare feet or sneakers or else you can wind up on the floor, but walk yourself out. We're going to be doing this for 30 seconds. So your hips should be just slightly above your knees. You should be able to look down and see your toes. Rest your hands comfortably. Um, press your lower back against, we're going to be doing this for 30 seconds. Weight in your heels. 10 more seconds. Okay, push out. And we're done. All right. So standing where you are, we're going to be doing gluteal squeezes. So have your, um, your feet straight. Uh, it's very hard not to recruit your stomach with this. Just focus on the bottom of your butt and squeeze 10 times. And 10. Okay, now we're gonna be doing some thigh squeezes. So I should have given you a little warning, but if you have a block, uh, or if you don't have a block, we have a pillow here, but you could take a bed pillow and fold it in half and put the block between your knees and you squeeze and relax, squeeze and relax, squeeze and relax, squeeze and relax. nine and ten okay now we're going to be doing what's called three position toe raises so we're going to be working the bottom of our legs typically um i do it against the wall and if you want to turn around if you you know you can that's the easiest way or you can go on the side or you can go straight ahead but you start with your feet in Egoscue position, which is five, six inches apart, and you come up and down, up and down, up and down. We're gonna be doing 10. Engage, come up on the ball, feel your toes. Okay, the next position, leave your heels where they are. This is a little bit harder on the balance, but up, 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now leave your heels where they are and get into like a uh, turnout position and do the final 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, we're gonna do one last exercise and that's overhead extension. So interlock your fingers, turn them inside out so you're looking at the back of your hand and with your eyes, follow your hands up as far as you can. That's comfortable. Again, we don't want anyone leaning back and you just hold it. 
for 30 seconds. You might feel some tingling. You're waking up your nervous system a little bit with this one. You're also looking up, which we don't do that often. Okay, thank you all for coming. Uh, trying to keep our posture in good shape while we're going through this crisis. Uh, you can do this a couple times to get a more complete workout, but we'll be seeing you again, hopefully live and in person. Thanks a lot and keep safe.